So as archaeologists, one of the main things that we try to do is to understand what time period we're looking at. So a chronology is basically an order of a sequence of when things happened in the past. So something that came first, something came second, something came third. Archaeologists create chronologies using a couple different things. Um, the first is understanding the idea of the law of superposition. And basically what this says is that when you find an object in the ground, it is older than the things above it and younger than the things below it. So when we excavate, we excavate stratigraphically, layer by layer, peeling back uh, the, the years of our history. The other basic rule that archaeologists use for establishing chronologies is the law of association. And this says that things that are found at the same level were likely deposited at the same time. So they sort of go together. Um, and then those things as a whole will be older than things above them and younger than the things below them. So beyond that, we know sort of what layer is older or younger, but to print it down to a more specific date, we need something a little more solid to go on. And we call that an absolute date. There's a lot of tools and technologies that can be used for chronologies. Not all of them get used in historical archaeology because things like absolute dating, where you use chemistry and, uh, to come up with an absolute fixed date, things like radiocarbon dating, you know, potassium argon dating. Um, they're great for prehistoric archaeology, not so good for historical archaeology because they tend to come with a very large range of, of error. For historic period artifacts, we've got such good records about changes in style over time that we know if we can identify the, the, the form that an artifact takes, a particular type of ceramic, a particular shape of wine bottle. We know the date ranges when that was produced. So we can use those historical documents to tell us when a, you know, a certain type of button was being produced and for how long. Um, so we can use those dates to help us develop um, even more specific chronologies. And then using the other two laws, the law of association and the law of superposition, we can use one specific object to help us date a whole bunch of objects together.